Hey guys, what's going on? I recently downloaded Cursor and I wanted to show you a demo of how it works. I think this is a great application and to be honest, I'm thinking about replacing the S code with it. So to download it, just go to the Cursor website, cursor.so, and click download for Mac. And don't worry about the pricing, it's actually free and you can add in your own OpenAI API key and so you won't have to pay any money. So it looks like this, this is the icon for Cursor, I've already downloaded it. And you'll see it looks exactly like VS Code. Once you download this, all your extensions are automatically imported as well as the theme. So this is exactly how my VS Code looks like and it automatically has the extensions as well, including GitHub Copilot. So you don't need to download anything extra, which is awesome. And so Cursor is actually a fork of VS Code, but it has AI built into it. You can use GPT 3.5 and GPT 4 directly in here. And so I have a Next.js application and this is a blank file. And we're going to go to this real quick. And yeah, this is it. And we're going to write some code. All you have to do is press command and then K. And this little dialogue will open up. And so let's ask it to write some code. So let's say build a form in this build a build a form in this react component using chakra ui so let's see what happens when we do this so you can see which is pretty amazing that a form is created and let's go ahead and accept this you can also reject it but let's accept it save it and i can already see an error in here but we'll see if we can fix this so if we go here and refresh, we're gonna get a couple of errors it looks like. So basically the, the main error is this is a interactive component. So we need to put use client, save it. Okay, so this is the form it created. So I mean, that's a start. Let's actually ask it to, oops, I opened up VS Code as a habit. Let's ask it to edit this. So just highlight everything, do command K. And let's say, change the form to take email name and also add a select for what type of work they do also change the button color to green and let's submit this it's going to go through the code and make the changes that we asked for and we have to accept each change so uh, let's see what it did wow it's amazing that this works so let's go ahead and accept all of these because they all kind of look good i think we can just do command y or maybe not Okay, let's save this and go here. And wow, it did exactly what we asked for because look, the work is now an option, which is pretty incredible. So that's generating code. And one, two other things that we can do is we can actually chat with the code base and ask it questions. To do that, you do Command L. And so we can ask it questions in this window here. So let's ask what does the demo component do? Okay, let's read this. Yeah, this is exactly right. It's saying it's a form. It has email name to work and it's describing them as well. So that you can imagine this could be really useful if you're in a new code base and you want to know what's going on. Additionally, this is based off of GPT, right? So it was last updated in 2021. If you want to give it new information, you can also do that as well. To do that, you do add symbol, and then go to docs, and then go to add new doc. And we're going to go to Next.js, their documentation, and give it this. I suppose it already knows about the edge runtime, so let's give it client versus server components, because that's a new thing in Next.js 13, which came out this year, right? So let's put this here. It's going to create embeddings on it. Yeah. And so now we can ask it, how do you mark a client component in 
next JS. So it's going to go to the documentation. Okay, see that's right. You you mark it with US client up here. So yeah, it's awesome. It did that perfectly. And so you can also change the settings in here if you just click this. You can add your open AI key and they've put this again in there, so I'm gonna to have to blur that out. But you can also choose between models, 3.5 or GPT-4. And you can import your extensions, which I already have, and you can index over your code base, which I already have. So yeah, let me know what you think. Obviously, this is super useful, and I think it's kind of the future of programming. We're probably just going to have something like this and just give it commands. It's going to write the code, and we're going to make some small changes. So yeah, super exciting. Let me know what you think, and hopefully, hopefully you like this video. Thanks, bye.